Yeah, a nice day to be outside, Wendy. Not too bad out there, right? It wasn't bad at all. This morning we had sunshine around, and then the winds began to pick up a little bit, and there was a bit of a shift in the winds, and that helped to bring in some of the rain and the clouds that came through. The rain came through much later on in the afternoon hours, and finally it has pretty well dissipated. But you can see that we still have some showers out in the Atlantic on the other coastline, and right now most of the rain that we are still getting has moved well to the north of us. So we're looking at star skies out there right now as the shift in the winds continue to lift these showers on up towards the north. Most of this was pretty much immeasurable because as it came on through, it was just a passing rain shower. It was very light rains that dotted the landscape. And once again, it all took place during the latter part of the day, continuing through the evening hours. And now things have pretty well settled down. We're not looking at any more rain. We do have a temperatures that climbed up into the 80s today. It was 80 degrees for the the daytime high 58 was the overnight low normally we're in the mid 70s for daytime highs and right now it's 69 degrees but take a look at the humidity it is very muggy out there 90 percent winds are out of the east at around nine miles per hour and around the state of course the coldest weather is to our north temperatures in the 60s down to the south we still have 78 degrees right now in Key West. But across our area, we're looking at temperatures that have pretty much gotten around 60s and 70s across the region, and the rain has finally come to an end. So we've got the cold front that came through that brought us all that cold, cold weather on Friday. It was a gorgeous day Saturday, and now this front has sort of stalled out to our south, and that's what's helped to generate some of these showers. The high pressure system that was bringing us the winds out of the east will continue to move farther out into the Atlantic. That's going to cause a bit of a shift in the winds, and so we're going to start to get more of an east southeasterly wind flow, and that is going to create a little bit more moisture around the area. In addition to that, we've got a cold front that's going to try to make its way through here on Thursday. So Wednesday and Thursday of this upcoming week will be our best chance for rain. We've got patchy fog developing after about 3 o'clock this morning, continuing through the morning hours tomorrow. Mild temperatures are in the forecast. And again, as I mentioned, those winds are going to be shifting around as well. So our rain forecast looks like this now. A couple of showers down across the southeast on Monday. Cloud cover still around the region. Maybe a passing shower coming on through, but it's going to be Thursday and Wednesday when we have our best chances for rain for this upcoming week. And in the meantime, if you're heading off to the beaches, we're going to be looking at those temperatures that are cold well to the north, but you will know that we've got beach weather here once again tomorrow with our temperatures back up into the mid, up, mid to upper 70s and even some 80s. So this is what it looks like all week long. Again, our best chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday. Adam?